Okay, so today we're going to be making a top and I'm going to be using this robin. Um, it's the small robin, which is 100% acrylic, it's 50 grams. And we're also going to need a tape measure and I'm going to be needing a 3.5 millimeter hook and some scissors. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your measurement, your bust measurement. So my bust measurement is 33. Um, that. So this is my bust measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chain long enough to around 29 because I don't need, you need to leave some space, either 29 or 28. So just just leave, make sure you leave like 5 inches uh, gap between your bust measurements and the chain that you're going to start with, okay? So I'm, I think I'm going to make 28 and then we'll start from there. So you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to start making your chain just wrap yarn around your hook and then go through the other loop you have one loop on your hook wrap around wrap your yarn around your hook and then go into the next loop like that so that is how you make a chain so do that until you have a chain long enough to measure 28 inches So this is how my chain looks like, this is how long it is and you're just going to put that against um, the tape measure and then you're going to stretch it out, there you go, I'm actually going to remove one because I need it at 28 exactly, so this is what you should have, let's just get rid of one, there you go. So this is your chain, this is what we're working with. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to chain two like that. Then you're going to wrap your around your hook. We're going to use a double crochet. Go into the third stitch from your hook. Come out of it. You have three uh, loops on your hook. Wrap your around your hook and go through two. And wrap your around your hook again and go through two like that. Then you're going to wrap your yarn again and go into the next stitch, come out of it, wrap your yarn around your hook and go through two loops, wrap your yarn around your hook and go through the next two loops. So that is what a double crochet is. Um, and you're going to do that until you get to the end of your chain. And then that is going to be the body of the top. So we're going to just do a repeat of uh, row one all the way until you have enough to cover your um, bust area so this is what you should have so you're just going to continue making double crochets in every stitch until you get to the end and then I'll see you guys once I get there Okay. Now that we are done with one row of double crochet, this is what you should have. And then when you get to the end, this is what you should have. And then when you get to the end, you're just going to chain two like that. And you're going to turn your work around. And now we are going to be going to row two of double crochet. So you're just, you're just going to be repeating the same thing we've done. Wrap your around your hook and go into the first um into the first stitch. Make a double crochet there. Then wrap your around your hook and go into the next stitch. So this whole uh, project we're going to be using a double crochet. So this is what you should have on row two. So just keep working. Uh, 
double crochets placing double crochets in every stitch until you get to the end and once you do get to the end chain two and turn your work around and then continue working on row three so this is going to be a repeat of the same thing we're just going to be repeating row one all the way until you get to um you have enough for your bust area so i don't know how many rows i'm going to do but let me just continue working and then i will let you know how many rows i did okay so i went ahead and i did 21 rows of um double crochet so the next thing we're going to do is as you can see i've already attached my uh, maroon color on this side so what i want you to do is you're going to count how many stitches you have and then you're going to divide that by four and then personally i got mine as 25 i have 102 stitches but it's 25.5 so i just did 25 so i did 25 i counted 25 stitches and then i tied my yarn over there so this is going to be the back side and then i did the same on this other side so this is how it will, it's going to look like so you're just going to count 25 from this side and 25 from this side and then this is what your front side is going to look like so this is going to be the front side and then this is going to be the back side okay okay now we are going to do the straps and for the straps this is what i do i just estimate i don't actually measure the i don't actually measure the measurements because i've already measured the back and the front side so we have this back panel right this one this is the back panel and we have the front panel so where until where the back panel lays on the front side which is here you're just going to take that and you're going to fold it into half like that okay and then once you fold it in, into half you're just going to uh, lift your project and then you're going to see the middle part so this is the middle part you're going to um pull up a loop on that middle part and then pull up a loop on this other side like that so that is the middle part now when you're done this is what you should have so you know your strap is going to start from here and it's going to end here so once it's in the back side this is what you should have your strap should start here and it should end on the back panel right here okay so it's the middle of the back panel and the middle of the half part is the same size as the back panel i hope you got that. i don't know how to explain so what we're going to do is we're just going to take um let me just take another yarn you're just going to take a different yarn and you're going to make a slip knot like that and then you're going to attach it on this front panel and you're going to make um a hundred a chain of a hundred so one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So continue doing that until you have a hundred, and then I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, so now to make the strap a little bit thicker because this is too thin, we are going to chain one, and then you're going to insert your hook into the next, the second uh, loop, or the second stitch from your hook, like that. Then you're going to wrap your orange your hook and go through that stitch. And then using that first loop, we're going to go into the second loop. Like that. Go into the next stitch, grab your yarn, come out of the stitch. Using the first loop on your hook, go through the second loop. So continue doing that. That is called a uh, slip stitch. So we're going to continue using a slip stitch until we get to the end. So this is what you should have so continue making slip stitches all the way until you get to this point and then i'll see you guys once um, i get there 
Okay, so we are close to the end. Now that these are tight. Okay. Come on, give in. Okay, it's now giving in. This is why you should never make your stitches too tight. This is what happens. But this is the only one that was tight. Okay, I'm going to just skip over that one. I'm just going to the next one. It's giving me a hard time. So once you get to the end, you are just going to go into the next stitch from the one you started from. Just go into the next one and make a slip knot. And then you are done. So take your scissors and cut out the part and then just make it extra secure and then you can hide the yarn so this is how I hide my yarn Gonna cut out this part. There you go. So we have made one strap. So we are going to make the other one in the back. So again, if you have forgotten where your middle part is, you are just going to place this one, and then you're going to know it's around this, it's around this part. So between the two stitches, you're just going to make another strap okay so we are going to start with this stitch again you're going to make a slip knot and then you're going to attach it there make a chain of a hundred and then go back using um using a single stitch crochet and then this is what you're going to have so we're going to have these two and then you can tie them up there so I'll see you guys once I'm done with this side and the other side because it's a straightforward thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done with all the sides and then I'll show you how to do the back and down here. Okay, so I went ahead and completed this. This is how they look like the strap. So now we are going to be working on the back side and this part again. Okay? So you're just going to take your okay you're going to take your hook and then this is the end i had not cut out so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this side and we're going to do half double crochets this time not a double crochet so we're going to place a half double crochet um Sorry, uh, what I meant is we're going to put two half double crochets in every double crochet space. And we are at the end so once we get to the end we are going to work on this other side this side okay so once you get to the end you're going to chain two so that it can give you the platform to go this way instead of creating a curve so you're going to you're just going to continue making half double crochets in every double crochet stitch all the way until you get to the end like 
like that as you can see it has created a corner instead of a curve so just make sure you make two stitches before you start working on this side so you're going to continue placing a half double crochet until you get to this part and when you do you're going to chain two again and then turn your work so that you can work on this other side remember on this side we're placing two half double crochet in every one um double crochet stitch okay so just continue doing that and then i'll see you guys once i'm done with the half double crochets so again i am done with this part so let's do this part so what i was saying is you're going to chain two and then now you're going to turn your work around i mean turn your work sideways so that you can work on this side so you're going to make two half double crochet in that first double crochet space and then continue doing that throughout the whole um this whole side okay so i just wanted to show you how to do that corner you just chain two and then you start working on this other side so that i can give you this nice corner over here instead of a curve okay okay now that we are done with all uh, the sides we started from here we came here all the way to this side up to here so the next thing we're going to do is on this side we're going to make this back side you're going to make the loops where you what is it called where your strap will go so you're going to chain five one two three four five turn your work around and then you're going to insert your hook you're going to make a double crochet on the fourth stitch one two three four i mean on the fifth one sorry so you're going to skip four and make a double crochet on the fifth one like that then you're going to chain three and make a double crochet on the fifth stitch so one two three four five that chain three one two three four five chain three one two three four five chain three one two three four five There you go, and in the last one, just make another double crochet. So once you get to the end, you are just going to sorry. So you're going to chain two, and then working on this side, you're just going to place a V on that last stitch. So make a double crochet, chain one. Make another double crochet in the same stitch okay and then you're going to skip two one two and in the third one we are going to make another v so make a double crochet chain one make another double crochet in the same stitch so that is a v okay skip two one two and then in the third stitch make another v chain one double crochet skip two in the third one make another v so we're just skipping two and making a v skip two make a v and then this is what we're going to do for the entire um side so when you get to the end this is what you should have on this side okay so when you get to the end you are just going to chain two then you're going to make one double crochet and two double crochet on the same stitch like that then you're going to chain three you're going to chain three and you're going to skip four one two three four and in the fifth one you're going to make a half double crochet like that chain three and then you're going to skip five four one two three four and then in the fifth one you're going to make a double crochet chain three One, two, three, four, and five. So in the beginning, also make two double crochets like that. So then the next thing we're going to do is chain two, turn your work around, and then now we are going to make half double crochet. Sorry, we're going to make half double crochet. 
so in that chain three space we are going to be making four half double crochets two three four and then you're going to make one on top of the half i mean of the double crochet then you're going to make four inside four and then you're going to make one on top of the half double crochet like that so this is what you should end up with so make four half double crochet inside the chain three space and then one on top of the half double crochet so this is this is what you should end up with so i'm going to make mine until i get to this point and then since we're going to do something different here i'm going to be back Okay, so once you get to the end, it's time to work on this side where we have the V's. So you're just going to chain two. And then we're going to start with this first space over here. You're going to make six double crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Like that. And then in the this space you're going to make a single crochet in this other space you're going to make a single crochet in the this space again you're going to make a single crochet okay so those are three single crochets and then in this space we are going to make six double crochets six in this v space you make a single crochet the other space single crochet the v space single crochet and then in the next one you're going to make six double crochets and six and then you are going to just repeat the same thing single crochet single crochet and single crochet and then six double crochets six so this is what you should have just continue doing that after every um that part where we're putting the six double crochet you're going to make three single crochets so a single crochet in the v space a single crochet in this space and then a single crochet in the v space and then six more double crochets so continue doing that until you get to the end and then i'll see you guys once i'm done so this is what you should have once you're done this is how they look so once you're done with that now you're going to work on this other side so you are going to start with a half double crochet on that same uh, space you worked on the six double crochet so do a half double crochet then another half double crochet just continue doing one half double crochet until you get to this first space which is this one so you're going to make four, three, and four. And then you're going to put one on top of the half double crochet, I mean the double crochet space. And then you're going to continue making four half double crochet in the chain three space. One, two, three, four. And then make one on top that so keep working until you get to the end and and when you get to that last uh chain three space just make four half double crochets and then you're going to chain two and then make two more half double crochets on this side and then just connect that to this other side like that okay so you're going to take your scissors you're going to cut out that part and just make it secure and then as always make sure you hide your yarn once you're done um once you're done with your top just make sure every yarn that is sticking out you hide it so basically this is how the top looks like
now that we are done with it this is the back view and this is the front view okay so now we're just going to make um a strap of the back strap that goes in here so just going to take your yarn make a slip knot take your hook insert it into the slip knot and make a chain of 200 okay so i actually did 300 instead of 200 because i want my um back strap to be very long so i went ahead and did 300 but what you're going to do next is just chain one and then in the second stage you are going to make a single crochet since okay i want my back strap to be a little bit thick because it's going to be when it's um thin it's too how do I say it? It's too small, okay, for the holes. Since the holes are a little bit big, I want my uh, back strap to be a little bit thick. So just keep uh, making single crochets. You're going to make single crochets all the way. Yes, sorry. So you're just going to make single crochets all the way until you get to the end. So just let me show you. Just insert your hook into the next stitch. Wrap your hand around your hook and come out of it and then go through both loops. Okay, it's so simple. I've done this so many times. If you've been watching my videos, you already know how to do a single crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a triple crochet. So, just continue making half double crochets. I mean, single crochets until you get to the end. And then I'll see you guys when I'm done, okay? So guys, this is the final look. As you can see, I'm done. This looks very pretty. Um, if you're going to remake it, please make sure you tag me on my Instagram page at Fairly Crochet. And it's a very simple top to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure you leave a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that notification button so that you're always updated when I upload. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.